let's talk very quickly about the Soul Artist of the Year winner, which you just presented to Laura Mavula, a hugely deserving uh, candidate and winner in our views. Yes? Yeah, she's amazing. And it's like I've sort of had a bit of a love affair from afar um, with her. And I think that's what happens when someone when I connect with an artist and uh, you know I said that I really believe she paves her own way and those people just stand out to me um, and I just have a lot of respect yeah and admiration she's paying tribute as we speak to Ella Fitzgerald is that an artist that you've looked to yourself a little bit yeah Ella Billie Holiday sister Rosanna Thorpe you know and then moving up to Aretha amazing a jazz album she did with Quincy Jones that maybe not so many people know about. I remember finding it years ago in a market. Um, and all those vocalists. And Laura's a vocalist. You know, and I see myself as a vocalist. And, and that's why I've been doing a lot of jazz shows for the last 10 years, kind of under the radar. So it started at Ronnie Scott's, and I did a residence at 606 in London. And now I've decided to just sort of move it on. It feels the right time. Are you doing bigger shows now? I believe you're playing at the Cheltenham Jazz Festival this yeah. weekend as well. Yeah. I'm doing Cheltenham tomorrow and then Saturday. And then I'm doing Hampton Court, which is a biggie. I think that's June the 14th. Uh, so that's a, a bigger one, you know. Um, and, but then, you know, I've done 50 seat venues. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. The thing is that the, the story, it's all about the stories. And the best thing about jazz, can I just say, is I love singing other people's songs. All those people... Ella, Billy, Aretha, all these people, they, they, they sang each other's songs, you know, and that's, it's embracing the writing and the beauty of those stories. And as a vocalist, you just take, I have, you have your own take on it. Like an actor, you know, when I'm acting, I have my own take on, on the part. And, and I, that's why I think there's a huge freedom in jazz um, and an embracing of this catalogue of amazing stories. Well, we'll have to come in and uh, persuade you to come and perform uh, a little session for us maybe later in the year when you're doing these shows. I'm going to come in. I'll tell you that now. I'd absolutely love to. Any chance to show off. But I must say again, I'm so pleased to have met Laura. She's, I, I'm so um, happy for her because she's a true artist.